Well, it's Thursday morning. I was grooming Summer here for a couple of minutes. And she decided that now she just wants to be groomed. I tried to tell her that I have to go to work, but she doesn't want to listen to me. Talk about going to work. I'm not sure why. She just doesn't want to. She's just like, no, you just need to, work to pet me. Use that little mm -hmm. brush thing. Whew. I take my sweatshirt off. So, three weeks, four weeks actually, get some of this uh, deep bedding up. It'll be great for mulching my bathroom, my bathroom, mulching my garden. Yeah, Mama. Mm hmm And around my new trees. And I have a lot. They wasted a ton of hay. You wasted a lot of hay. Yeah, you did. Put out here. Oh. Baby bites, baby bites, baby bites, baby bites, baby bites. And I started my consulting company that I had for a couple of years. Um, I had a really good friend. We went and had coffee and talked about it. And um, she told me the analysis that I always use is that you don't eat an elephant in one sitting. When you don't learn to walk, you don't just stand up and take off. So baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. I'm going to try to take a personal day. such a balancing thing going on in my brain. I have lists of things to do in each like part of my brain. So I have I have to move around all my stuff from I do that this morning. I need to move all my materials at Lincoln. That's the only space I have. Store thing. There's just not enough storage for the stuff. At, well, at Lincoln, they've got this big, huge basement with tons of places to put stuff, boxes and stuff that, you know, we might use at a later date. Now, Washington, there is no big storage. There is no storage whatsoever to speak of. And so there's like these cabinets that I need to put. So, right now I share... A small room that is the library, the K1 library, my STEM stuff, and Sonia's, the special ed lady. Well, her stuff is leaving. So, her stuff is leaving. And so the librarian and I are going to switch, move stuff around.
I am going to tell Trina to save any big boxes that come in and get her stuff, Sonia's stuff, packed away. You know what? They can take down the IS, the main building. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I mean, I just want a small desk. I'm going to have to look for one at Washington, at Lincoln. So I have to look for a small desk. I don't think anybody has one. And that one in here is too, so ugly. And I always use the desk in here. And it was mine. I'd have to drag it there. And a small desk. Or table. It has to be a desk. It needs to be a small table. No, Mama. No. No. I'm not doing this today. So you sit there and I'm talking about moving things. You have no idea what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> Kat had said that the last time she moved, she moved into the bigger room at the end of the building, and that all the stuff was just dumped in the middle of the room. All the boxes, all the cabinets, and the piano in the middle of the room. And she had to unpack it all, move it around. Which we don't get paid for all the time we take to set up our classrooms. Uh, that's not included in our pay. Anytime we run there on the weekend to get stuff done, that's not included in our pay. Anytime we spend at home on the computer trying to find lesson plans, that's not in our pay. So when you say teachers don't work in the summer, shut up. Most teachers have a job, a second job in the summer. Because even though they work 50, 60 hours a week, We're in school year. So even if it's just five hours a week, let's say you spend an extra five hours a week of your own time. I get to school 45 minutes before I'm supposed to get there and I start work. Sometimes I get there an hour and a half before, depending on how much stuff I have to do. Last Friday, I was there an hour and a half before school started. Because I had to set up the big chicks, I had to feed and get these little chicks out of the incubator and into the cage. I had to set up the cage. I had to put it all together so I could roll it from class to class. I had to clean up the mess I made. I had to get my lesson plan ready for that day because the first morning all I did was run around and show the kids the chicks. And then the next thing that I did... Hey, 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 hey. Then I had to go right into my lesson, and I was like three minutes late to start my first lesson. Well, they all knew what I was doing, because I'd just been in their classroom earlier showing them the baby chicks and how they grow into chickens. Which there was a grant, and I missed the deadline. But enough of work. Enough of my other job. Let's talk about this job. So yesterday, I put Mr. Artie out, and I should have, if I didn't know he was doing it, I would have gone and taken a video before he stopped. Um, he was literally on his back feet dancing around the backyard, so happy to be outside. Just so, so happy. Beautiful day, it was sunny, he could eat all the grass he wanted. Um, down there right now saying he'd like some oats instead, but he's not supposed to have oats because they can get cysts. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. So I found out there was an emergency vet like site, and that if you can't get to a vet, you have to like take out their penis and like snip the end off with like a pair of scissors 
I was like, oh my God, you're never getting a grain of corn, a grain, uh, a piece of grain for the rest of your life. Because OMG, that, whew, wow. And then what do you do? Then what happens? Then what happens? Then what happens after that, huh? Huh, Mama? Oh, why are you so sweet this morning? Oh, I, she's going ready to go into heat. She's always super sweet the first day. She starts to go into heat. She just wants loving. Let's see what she's like tomorrow when she's in full-blown heat. But she ran down to Artie this morning again. It's like a cat. You just keep going into heat until you get bread, huh? Now, and what is up with you and eating that? thought I brought in dishes so that I could give you some. I gave you salt the other day. I put the turkeys out this morning, and I swear the minute I shut the door, it started raining, pouring. So I opened the door, but they didn't want back in. Come on, let's go. Let's go get your sissy. Come on, sweetie. I know it's slippery. I will get it done. I will get it done. All right, come on. Have your grain. Artie's done at the end stall throwing his bucket up in the air because he didn't have grain. I told him I'd bring him some alfalfa. Actually, it's not alfalfa, it's Timothy. Alfalfa almost has too much protein for them, but he gets Timothy. And so I'm wondering if that, oh, my these were definitely crinkling there. I'm wondering if the, hello, 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 don't you peck me. Funny. I'm wondering if the grain thing is just pure grain intake or does it have to do with alfalfa too? Oh, I'll just have to pick it up when we're done. Yeah, can I get in here please? Get your mouth. The ravens ate the eggs. That's my fault for uh, eating the ravens. But if I can keep the ravens in the area and get rid of eagles and chicken hawks, it's more likely that I can have free range my chickens, which really is better for their health and for my feed bill and for the egg quality. They get more omega fats and stuff from the 
plus they're better healthier, they get more vitamin D being outside. So, I'd like to have a run in right outside their stall, their coop stall. My problem is, I want to cut a hole in the side of the. I want to cut a hole in the side of the building. And I have a window, which if I put a ladder in front, they could hop up and hop out the window. The ladder on the other side, and go in and out that way. That could be closed at night. You just shut the window. I have to think it through. Are they going to poop a lot? Are they going to sit in the window and poop all over it and make it nasty? Wouldn't they do that if I had a door there too? I mean, what difference does it make? I could dig down and have them scoot under the side of the building and like prop it up. They could go out that way. But then unless I close it well, I'm just asking to make a way for any varmint to get into the barn. I build it out with wood and stuff to make a doorway on the bottom. That's an idea. I just open the door and chase them out in the morning, but then if it rains and stuff, they're stuck out. If something were to fly by, they're stuck out. Oh my goodness, Bonnie, what are we going to do? I just don't know yet. I don't have an answer. I wish I had an answer, but I don't have an answer this morning. I don't have anything to put your milk in. And nothing for you. Let's see if I can milk a little bit more. Let me see if I can milk a little bit more. Don't bite me. Don't you cuss at me either. I get home from work tomorrow. I've got a lot of work to do. We're gonna go fishing Saturday morning. I've said that three times and we've yet to go. But we couldn't go because of the way everything was. I'm looking, Mom. I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Did this pop off? Yep, it will look. I have a little container for you. Here you go, bossy girl. <clears throat> Here's your milk. Yes, that is all you get. What do you think, Mom? What do you think, Mama? What do you think? Oh my goodness, was that that good? I'm going to get you some hay. And I have to bring your boyfriend some uh, alfalfa pellets before he hurts himself with that. Give you some corn. A little bit of this grain. Already doesn't get any rain. He gets just come on. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm not gonna leave you. There. And I thought, here we are. We're working. We're growing well. Have a good Thursday, guys.